welcome back folks to a brand new video. So we're going to focus on Puglia, a southern region forming the heel of Italy's boot. And it's known for its Mediterranean coastline, its whitewashed hill towns, centuries old farmland and millions upon millions of olive trees. So if you've never been before, let's take a look at 12 beautiful places to visit in Puglia. So first up is Bovino, a pristine village nestled among the rolling hills of Puglia, and it has a history dating back to even before the Roman era. It was destroyed and rebuilt by the Romans as they secured influence over the entire Italian region. So this is a very traditional type of village, you'll see lots of people wearing traditional dress, and there are lots of festivals. But the highlight here is actually Bovino Castle. It's perched right atop a hill and it offers some of the best panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. So don't miss a chance to climb the castle's towers. Picture yourself in the heart of Puglia, surrounded by olive groves and rolling hills. Now add a medieval marvel castle rising up from the landscape, and that's Castel del Monte. It's perched on a solitary hilltop. Built in 13th century, it's literally a medieval masterpiece. It's unique in its octagonal shape, perfectly symmetrical, and all of these elements make it quite a sight to behold. But what is even more fascinating is the mystery that surrounds its purpose. Was it a fortress? Or a hunting lodge? Or something else entirely? So as you wander through its halls and courtyards, you can't help but wonder. Number three is Vieste, a picturesque town located right on the Gargona Peninsula. So you'll find stunning beaches, crystal clear waters and dramatic cliffs. And the town itself is a maze of narrow streets and alleyways, lined with whitewashed houses and colourful flowers. So the historic centre is a must visit, especially with its ancient castle, a stunning cathedral and a bustling piazza. Now one of the highlights of a visit to Vieste is to explore the stunning Gargona National Park. It's a protected area, but be sure to take a boat tour of the sea caves along the coast. And it gives you a unique perspective on the natural beauty of the region. Number four, Ostuni. Also known as La Cita Bianca, the White City. Now this is a stunning hilltop town, and it's also known for its strikingly white buildings, which contrast beautifully with the blue skies and the green hills that surround the town. Another city with winding streets and alleyways which is perfect just to wander around. But you'll come across hidden courtyards, beautiful balconies and stunning views of the surrounding countryside. So the centre is the perfect place just to soak up the relaxed atmosphere. But you'll find a charming street to visit, which is Via Cattedrale, which leads to the cathedral and offers beautiful views of the town.
Polignano and Mare, a breathtakingly beautiful coastal town. Known for its stunning cliffs, crystal clear waters, and a charming historic centre. It's no wonder why Polignano and Mare has become one of the most popular tourist destinations in the area. Picturesque streets and again whitewashed buildings. It's a perfect area to kind of people watch. But don't forget the Cala Porta Beach, a stunning cove that's surrounded by towering cliffs and the sea. The beach is perfect for swimming or sunbathing, and it's a great spot to take in some real natural beauty. But for those of you who want a little bit of adventure, head to the Grotta Palazzesi, a cafe restaurant that's located right along the water. Bari Known for its stunning old town, beautiful beaches, and some delicious food, making it a perfect destination for relaxing and enjoying that authentic Italian getaway. But one of the best places to start is to visit the Old Town, also known as Bari Vecchia, a charming area with a maze of narrow streets and alleyways lined with colourful buildings and some traditional shops. So you will find plenty of quaint cafes and restaurants here that serve up local specialities like orecchiette pasta and some fresh seafood. But one of the most iconic landmarks in Bari is the Basilica di San Nicola, a stunning church that's home to the relics of Saint Nicholas. The inspiration for Santa Claus. Al Barabello, probably the most popular and most recognised along this list. A small town known for its unique and picturesque truly houses. Now these whitewashed houses with conical roofs are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and are the main attraction in the town. So it does feel like you're stepping back in time. And the most famous parts is the Rione Monte District. And this is where you'll find hundreds of truly houses that are clustered together in a labyrinth of narrow streets and alleyways. So it's the perfect place to explore some of those particular trulies, which have been converted into shops and cafes and even accommodation, where you can stay and experience it for a longer time. But I suggest going off season, and in a few weeks time in May, I'm going to show you exactly the reason why. Monopoly. Another beautiful coastal town located in the southern part of Puglia. For a taste of local life, head to the historic centre of the town, where you'll find narrow streets lined with beautiful whitewashed buildings. You'll also find the iconic cathedral that's been a symbol of the town for centuries. But one of the most impressive sites in Monopoly is the Castello di Carlo, a majestic fortress that dates back to the 16th century. It's located right on the waterfront, but it's a testament to the town's rich history and a must-see for anyone visiting Monopoly. But what I love about it is the city still has that special hard-to-find feeling that has faded from so many other Italian towns. Loco Rotondo. Now, if you've recently been to Al Barabello, it's a perfect opportunity for you to visit Loco Rotondo, as it's not so far away. It's famous for that unique circular layout, 
which is said to have been designed to confuse invading armies. A perfect town just to explore on foot, with plenty of hidden gems that are waiting just to be discovered around every corner. Now what's really interesting is when the sun reflects along the walls, it kind of illuminates the town like a fairy tale. And you will see plenty of brightly coloured vases and flowers along the streets. Another destination in Puglia that I highly recommend that you should visit is a historic town near Ostuni. And it's often overlooked by those people who make a beeline for the beaches. Cheye Masepica. And it's a shame because this is one of the oldest towns in Puglia and it dates back to the 15th century. Cheye Masepica has one of the largest historic centers which is amazingly well preserved. And it has a different look altogether. There's almost a Moorish style to it. But it is an intriguing type of town, maybe more so than the popular others. Next up is Trani. A beautiful coastal town located along the Adriatic Sea. Now its historic centre is also really enjoyable to explore. It holds a picturesque harbour, plenty of charming cafes and a stunning cathedral. But don't forget to sample some of the local seafood while you're here, which is also known for its freshness and flavour. Now we come to Gallipoli, the Pearl of Salento. And this place is well renowned for its impressive beaches and for its charming fortified historical city centre. Now its name derives from that original Greek name, meaning beautiful city. But the big difference between the two coasts of Otranto and Gallipoli is that Otranto is rocky and characterised by cliffs and more touristy, whereas Gallipoli has some of the most beautiful sandy beaches that you'll ever see. So if that's the type of holiday you want to go on, Gallipoli is the perfect choice. Lecce. Now this city is called the Florence of the South and is one of Puglia's largest cities. It's known for its Baroque architecture and it has more than 40 churches and at least as many noble palazzis built or renovated between the 17th and 18th century. So there's a lot of browsing to do in this city. But you can see this but the highlight is the Basilica di Santa Croce a wonderful standout example of Baroque architecture. But you'll also have the lively square that's perfect for people watching and sitting and enjoying a gelato and watching the world go by. So there's a vibrant culture scene, plenty of events and festivals that take place throughout the year. So this is a great weekend city break. And there you have it folks, that was Puglia. 
Now you have 12 possible locations for you to visit. I do recommend that you should go in the off season, but if you have no choice, try to book your accommodation far off in advance. Believe me, it will save you a lot of hassle. There'll be more locations in this particular region coming soon, so stay tuned to the channel, and I'll see you all on the next one.